Hey guys, it's Hassan. Welcome back to another video of W3Camp. In this video, I'm gonna talk about another Python project, which is Tic-Tac-Toe game. For those of you who are not familiar with Tic-Tac-Toe, I'm gonna say that in Tic-Tac-Toe game, we have two players with two different signs. First one, sign X, and second one, sign O. They try to fill up this squared board with their own sign. The player who can fill up a column, a row, or a diameter with their own sign will win the game. For example, player X can put their sign here and player O can put their sign there. So if they continue and player X fill up a column, the game is finished and player X wins. So these two players should block each other and fill up or form their own column, row or diameter with their own sign. This way, the game will go through. So let's go to the Python, clean the code and write it again from scratch. Import TK interlibrary as TK also from TK inter I import message box then I create a class called tic tac toe GUI or GUI and inside this class we have different methods or functions the first and most important function is def in it. For those of you who are familiar with Python, it's easy to answer, but for those of you who are not familiar with Python, it's a bit tricky. You need to think about it. We, we use uh, init function or init method in a class in, a, in Python when, uh, when we first create an object of that class. So we give it self and another variable called board size with the initial value of three then inside here self board self board size it's equal to board size then we have self window which is equal to tk dot tk so I have an object for my window to show it. Then I go through window dot title. The title will be tic tac toe. Great. Then I need another variable or attribute called board. We use this variable to store the value uh, that different players put in each part of the square or the board. It's a two-dimensional list. Uh, let's form the first cell, then first row. First cell is uh, a blank or space character. So I can repeat it for underscore in range self dot board size so I have I formed my first row then here I can write for underscore in range self dot board size so look at here we have a two-dimensional list we use this list based on board size to store the value of each cell of our board then I'm gonna use another variable which is called current player so current player is x uh, for initial value then I go to self create board buttons which is a method that I will define next perfect then I have def create board buttons so I have self here self dot buttons i need to build a two-dimensional list for my buttons then 
Assign these buttons to right grids in my board. So first I use a list TK dot button. And inside that I say use this button inside window. The text is a blank space. The font equals to, for example, Arial and size is 24. Perfect. Then I go through width. Width of each button is 3. Width is 3. And height is 1. Good. Now I go to the next line to type the rest of my code. Then for command, I need a Lambda function. This command will be executed when I click on each button. So I say Lambda row equals to row and call is equal to call. I close this parenthesis. Let's say button. Okay, button is closed. No, I have a call in here and I call self dot make move with row and call. Great. Now I have uh, a completed uh, button. Now I can repeat this button. You say for call in range self dot Board size, repeat this button. So I form a row. Now I need to repeat this row, this row to form a two dimensional array. Then I uh, go here and type for row in range self dot board size. Perfect. As you can see, this part from here to here forms a row of buttons for us. Then with this for loop, I repeat these rows based on board size. So I have a square board. Now assign these uh, buttons to my board. I need to nest that for loop for row in range self dot board size again inside I have for call in range self dot board size and then inside this I have self dot buttons button row and call that grid I need to access grid method here then I can say row equals row and column equals call. Perfect. So with uh, this part, I have created my rows, my buttons, all of my buttons. Then with these two nested for loops, I assigned each button to a specific grid in my board. Okay, that's great. Uh, but I need to define make move function or make move method. Self row and call. Now let's just pass it. I don't want to uh, give any value to it right now. After this, I need another method called run with self it's this self used for different objects of of our class i just say self dot window dot main loop that's it and let's go to this part and run it if name calls main then I can ask the user to enter board size 
it's optional and each user can define their own board size board size equals and input i can say here enter the size of the board pg 3, 4, 3 times 3, 4, 4, 4 times 4, etc. Amazing. Colon space. Then I'm gonna create a tic tac toe object of this class. Tic tac toe, tic tac toe GUI class. And inside this, we have board size as an input. To initialize tic tac toe object, then I use tic tac toe and run method to run my window. Let's save it and run it to see the result. Uh, it says uh, give me number for the size of board. I give it four and enter. Perfect. As you can see, I have the board here. You have different buttons and you can click on them but it's not gonna work until you put the right right code inside make move uh, method so let's close this window and go to this part and see uh, what we should do here I say if self that board you have row and call if it's if it's equal to space if it's equal to space like this I need to check what value I have I mean which player is playing now so I put the value of that player into the button so I say self dot board side here row and call set it equal to self dot current player perfect then I say again self dot buttons buttons row and call then I say uh, go to config method and set the text equal to I should set text equal to self dot current player uh, ask yourself a question what's the difference between board and buttons the answer is I use buttons to show the value of what the user has inserted but I use the board to store the value. Then after entering this, I need to check if the user wins the game. So I can say if self dot check underscore win, I give it self dot current player. If the current player wins the game, so we should use message box and use show info to say tick tick toe tick tack toe we need to use a formatted string say player self dot current player wins yeah and an exclamation mark here perfect then I need to go to self reset game function method. perfect we don't have reset game now we need to define it here let's define it I say def reset game and just self perfect let's just pass it if no one wins the game we go to elif and check if the board is full so we can say elif self that is full if it's full we use a 
message box and say show info and inside here we can say tic tac toe it's a tie exclamation mark good and self dot reset game great if none of these happen we can say else it means we should continue the game and change the current player so i say self dot current player equals to o but we need a condition for that. When should we set the current player to O? If self dot current player equals X. Otherwise, else this will be X. What I mean by this line, I say if the current player is current player is X, then assign O to the current player. I mean change it. Otherwise, if the current player is not X, I mean it's O, assign X to the current player variable. Perfect. But let's check this condition. If the button is not filled with a blank space, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say you should not click on this button. So I use an else here and show an error inside this I'm gonna say invalid move cell already taken try again amazing so let's see Ooh, what's the result of this we have reset game here oh good how about check win we don't have check win here you see i need to check win i don't have any function for that let me just Put the definition here, def check queen self and player and for now on just pass it. Uh, I'm going to just check. Let's say for example four. Great. Uh, we are inside here and if we click uh, on a single button which is empty. Uh, the current play player will be shown. The current player is X now. So if I click, I can see X here, but there is something. It says uh, on line 26, we don't have coughing. Oh, a spell typo error we have here. Yes, let's correct this config and run again I can't I close this or and if I click yes I have X here X here no player change no what's going on it says is full object has no attribute okay I need to define is full to def is full self just let pass it I click again set it to 4 X the player based on line 35 will be changed so I can O here yeah perfect and amazing mm, but it doesn't work I filled up all the board but no error showed here 
let me go and check is full okay because uh is full is empty we don't have any thing for it let's go and check is full and see what we can put here uh i can say return return what i use uh all to say if cell is not equal to space for cell in row and for row in board and I put it into another all let's see at first I say check every cell if each cell in a row is not equal to space it means it's full and if this happens for all of them self if it happens for all of them I mean I have lots of rows so in each row I have all the all the buttons filled up so I can return I return a true let me run it again I have four I enter now perfect I have X here O X O let's fill it up fast let's see amazing it's a tie it means I filled the table with no winner okay and and let's check the winner who wins the game I need to check a row or a column or a diameter to make sure that someone wins the game okay great let's go for it I go here for check win I need some conditions for check win at first I say for I in range not raise range self dot board size then I say if all self dot board equals player self board let's say I and J equals to player or J in range self dot board size uh, it means a uh, column or all now again self dot board now j and i like this this i can say if it's equal to player for j in range self dot board size i mean if i mean if i have for this part a row a row which is full with only one sign x or o or if i have uh if i have a row or if i have a column then i use a column here and return true so it's for a row and a column but i need to check the diameter let's go and check this first run it four amazing and x o x o x o x great player x wins and if i press ok it should reset the game but for reset the game we don't have nothing here so i close this and go to write something for i in range self dot board size and for j in range self dot board size what I can say here, I can say go to self dot board I and J 
and set it equal to a space so i go to board board list and clear every single cell then i go to self dot buttons and clear every visual thing to so both players see nothing i say i j config and here text must be equal to a space perfect let's run it again for enter x o x o x o x okay player x wins if i set click okay it resets the game now let's check it for player o x o x o x o x o player o wins perfect how about something like like uh filling up the whole board with no winner i say o x o x x o x o x it's a tie no one wins the game if i click ok it resets the game perfect but how about a diameter we don't have nothing for a diameter here if a diameter is filled with uh with the same sign we have nothing to check if someone wins the game for example x o x o x o x nothing happens we need to write a condition for this so i go to this part and outside that for loop i say return i check all all what self dot board for i and i for i in range self dot board size if it's true so it returns uh, a true and the player x or o wins the game let's check it i put four here great x oh it's not true it shouldn't be like this it should be all of them not just one we made a mistake player x wins no it's not true let's check what's wrong here oh it's a mistake player should write player here like this now it's okay you know how easily we can mm, make bugs in our program for good x o x o x o x Woohoo! player x wins the game but let's check this diameter again x o x o x o x oh nothing happens no one wins the game now so i need to write a condition for that let's see uh i come here write for all actually let's let me copy this i copy this then i need to paste it here but i need to change that uh this one true true self should change this one yeah you know you start with uh row but the column you should change the column you need to go to the end of the end column you know here so if it's zero one two three it's three how can i access this i can say say self dot board size minus one minus i so i type here self dot board size minus one minus i like this so when uh, i is zero i just reduced 
four by one so we have three and we can access here when i is one if i um, reduce one uh, i will be here again so i reduce one more so i will be here and one more and one more okay perfect uh, let's close this and run it again for enter again x o x o x o x woohoo player x wins the game now i go to i'm gonna write o here uh, again x o x o x o and again player o wins the game so we have everything here we reset the game we check if the board is full we check if somebody wins the game we run it we do everything here to check the winner full we change the player and everything the code is complete you can use it and practice your python if you are a new python programmer uh that's it for this video uh, i think it's enough you can uh, practice watch this video and if you find it helpful please like this video if you have any questions you can comment me below definitely i will answer it and don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel see you soon in other videos